Hello everyone. Welcome to the Veracity Solutions. In today's video we are going to take the overview of data exploration and Cognos Analytics and we will see how we can use the explored visualizations in our dashboards. So before moving to next let's see what is data exploration? Data exploration is an flexible workspace where you can get the one idea after another and gain the more deeper knowledge about your data. Without any data science background, for exploration you can use the data from different databases, data modules and Excel spreadsheets. So let's begin with our demonstration. This is the home page of our Cognos Analytics with Watson. Just simply click on New and click on Data Exploration. And select your data for the exploration. This is the window for the data exploration. Here you can select the column for the data relationships or you can simply click on the skip and it will automatically provide you the data relationship diagram. Also from the search bar you can see the relations of other columns. In the right hand side it has provided the auto generated visualizations for the selected column. You can choose from any of the one and add it to the cards. Let's select the line and column visualization. Here you can see it has created visualization for quantity and revenue by province or state. In this visualization line gives information about quantity and columns gives information about revenue for province or state. At upside if you click on the line and column tab it will shows the other different visualizations for the same column. And when you click on the related tab it will shows the related visualization for the same column. When you click on the compare tab it will allow you to compare the two visualizations with top or bottom count. Here you easily compare your data and gain deeper knowledge and understanding of your data. So let's compare the top 10 quantities for the revenue and planned revenue. The chart will shown as follows. If you click on the chart A, and then click on the details tab, it will provide you the details about that chart data, in the simple plain language which is easy to understand. At the bottom you can see the table, which gives the quick summary about both of the charts. Same if you click on the chart B, it will provide you the details about chart B data also. Now, let's see how we can use this explorations in our dashboards. At the left side, click on the cards, and you will see the added visualizations. Just right click on the any visualization, which is you wanted to use in your dashboards and copy that visualization and then paste it to your dashboard window. This is how you can use your explored visualizations in your dashboards. Now, let's get back to the exploration window. Here at the left top corner, you can see the Watson enabled assistant with AI. You can simply ask assistant about any factor of your data in plain language. As I am writing, then it will provide you the information about that factor in plain language as an answer. Now, let's talk about the cards in exploration. Cards represents the new ideas and new things to be explored and the new insights waiting to be discovered. From the data relationship diagram, you can select the related columns and get the more information about them from the generated visualizations. Also, you can create your own cards or visualizations. Just click on the create and then select the visualization window. After that click on choose a type and select the sunburst visualization. After that select the column you wanted and drag it to the visualization. I am dropping retailer type to the visualization. So here it will create the visualization for you on the fly. You can use this visualization in your dashboards also and dig more information about your data.
This is about data exploration and Cognos Analytics. Thank you for watching. From Team Veracities.